Hey everyone, it's Michelle Alexandria here. Sorry if you can actually hear my air conditioner, it just came on and I want to get this video out because I have actually talked about the, I actually did 10 different takes of this and they all suck. So I'm just going to go with whatever happens on this one. So what happened was I posted a unboxing video for Doctor Strange a few weeks ago and it was surprisingly popular because I actually wanted to do it for Omaha States and I just happened to have this and I just kind of did this in front of the box and I really didn't unbox this and it was funny because I was waiting for someone to mention the fact that hey I built it as click it was pure clickbait and I never actually unboxed the thing that I said I was going to unbox. So someone finally said, hey, you didn't unbox Dr. Strange. And the reason why I didn't unbox it at the time was the fact that I didn't watch it. I haven't watched the movie yet, and I wanted to watch the movie. And then I realized that I would have to unbox it in order to watch the movie anyway. So I actually watched, finally got around to watching the movie last week. Um, I will talk a little bit about the movie. The movie was actually really good. Um, it's not Marvel's best movie. I will probably rank it, hmm, probably like number 10 or 8. I liked it better than the Thor movies. I'll give it that. Um, from a production standpoint, director, and I'm going to look at my iPad over here. The director, um, director Scott Scott Derrickson, and I love the fact that Marvel always takes a chance for new, fresh directors because if I look at my iPad, Scott Derrickson, uh, you know, he was a little indie director who did horror films before Doctor Strange. And let me let me ask you some, something. Why is it white guys always get the benefit of the doubt when directing these big budget films? But if a black person is cat is assigned to direct, then all of a sudden everyone's asking what are their qualifications? Riddle me that. So anyway, back to this. Uh, uh, Scott Dickerson is actually responsible for the movie Sinister, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, and Del Deliver Us from Evil. None of that said, screams Dr. Strange to me. But anyway, he did an amazing job with this movie. Um, it's actually it's Marvel's version of Inception, really. I mean, that's what this movie is. It's basically a mystical version of an Inception, and there's a there are a lot of amazing um, set pieces here that work really well in 3D. That was the main reason why Disney sent this to me once they wanted me to look at the 3D version. But because my stupid four thousand dollar OLED TV doesn't do 3D, I had to actually watch it on my on the 55 inch Vizio that I have in my bedroom. And I would say the 3D on this is really amazing. I really love the 3D quality on this. It really pops and f makes it feel like it's coming at you. And I really love the depth of feel that it adds to it. Um, I watched the three. I watched the Blu-ray version as well. And the Blu-ray version, once again, is in a letterbox, and I just drives me crazy. Um, but on the OLED TV, uh, with the little 4K upscaling going on, the depth of field on the Blu-ray is actually pretty nice in certain spots. Um, Benedict, in this movie, Benedict Cumberbatch Car is an arrogant doctor named Dr. Stephen Strange who has an accident with his hands and gets his hands crushed and he's actually becomes humbled. He goes on a worldwide quest to fix his hands so that he can get back to the top of his game where he encounters the mystical elements and he meets the ancient one and the ancient one played by Tilda Swinton. Swinton teaches him how to channel his inner powers and his inner his mind to access the, myst the mystical world and other realms. And from there, he tries to bring himself back to what he once was. And he's still he's arrogant throughout the entire movie. But he becomes we watch him become a hero. Watch him learn how to uh, gr grow in the mystic arts. Meanwhile, there's a former student, um, the ancient one, who wants to. Um, who wants to reach out to a, to a ancient uh, evil to do something? And I never really understood what that character's motivations were. It was just kind of like he felt like he was just shoehorned in because there was never any real reason for him to be in this movie. You could probably take him out of the movie, take that character out of the movie, and you still have a pretty silent movie. Um, 
but the special effects in this movie are really great. The set design work is really great. But I actually have to talk about the 3D. And again, the 3D was stunning. Um, there were moments in this where you were just like, wow. Um, there, there's a particular moment where they're running on buildings. And it looks just like a complete ripoff of, of Inception where the buildings are like turning sideways and twisting while they run through the port, run through a portal. And actually, that sequence is actually in the very beginning of the movie. I, like I said, I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not sure if it's the type of movie I have much interest in watching again, but I may watch it one, at least one more time just to really see what's going on, um, just to see if I could really understand what was going on. Because like I said, I watched it in 3D, then I watched the Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray I was just kind of skipping around just to kind of get a sense of how the Blu-ray looks. Um, so here's the uh, longer way to unboxing. When you open this up, I, I, love the, I love the cover art on this. Disney does amazing cover art. So when you open it up, you get the Disney Movies Anywhere information. And I love, and you get the Disney's Movie Anywhere code. And, and inputting this code, if you can see the code, inputting it isn't going to help you because I already, you know, used it. I actually collect digital copy codes. I, would, I had a lot of people actually, surprisingly enough, ask me for a digital copy code. So maybe... If it's really important to you guys, maybe in the future I'll give away some digital copy codes. I could probably get Disney and some of the other studios to give me digital copy codes to give out. I may do that. Who knows? Um, so this is the digital copy code. And then over here you have this beautiful, what do you call this thing, a lintavia or something, a lintogram. And this is really cool because it's actually in 3D, and I'm not sure if the 3D will really pop here and I'm kind of holding it up a little longer than necessary because I want to make sure the camera actually focuses in. But yeah, if you look at it at different angles, it's really nice. It's a nice 3D lithogram. So you do that, and then over here you have your 3D ver. You have your 3D version of the movie. You have your 3D version of the movie, and the artwork is really lame. I mean, come on, can't they give us something? Like some kind of picture disc or something. I don't. I don't really like the basic blue artwork. And then you have the blue, the regular Blu-ray version. And then you have the DVD version right here. So one thing you got to. I know. I know it used to be fashionable to hate on Disney, but I love Disney because when they do these collectors, they actually. You really only have to buy it once, and it's usually reasonably priced for like 20 bucks. And for 20 bucks, you get the movie on every conceivable platform. And that's what's awesome. They, unlike companies like Warner Brothers, who nickel and dime you to death, or, you, or Sony, who nickel and dime you to death, you know, Disney gives you the movie on every available platform. So you, got the, you had the 3D Blu ray, the Blu ray, the DVD, and then you had the Disney digital copy that works on every single possible platform. So that's pretty darn awesome. Um, so yeah, I would give this entire collection an A. I mean, when I would give the collection an A, probably the movie, mm, probably a B, B minus in that area. Um, like I said, it's a really good, it's a solid movie. Enjoyable the first time, but it's confusing in attack, and there's really no real plot to it, and there's no reason for the bad guy to really exist in this movie. It was just it was just to give strange someone the fight in a nemesis. So yeah, uh, that is Doctor Strange on Blu-ray from Disney Home Video. It's available right now. Go pick it up. Bye. Really say you're a superhero unless you've actually experienced some of the physical trauma. It was really fun. It's not every day you get to smash glass and be paid for it.